Hello everyone, it is Joe here from Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. And this is going to be just a real quick video with a few announcements and updates from the channel and a few other things like that. Um, normally when a new set comes out we get a whole bunch of new viewers and hopefully subscribers. So we thought we'd um, just give you a few announcements for those of you who may not be aware of some other things going on outside the channel. So, first of all, just a quick rundown for those interested. I've had a few questions about... Um, the point structure and how that affects me personally. Um, it means I do indeed have my invite now. I'm at just under 500 points thanks to the new CP changes. Um, I will still be attending the American Intercontinental, um, which is hopefully going to be a lot of fun. If I do well, uh, I really need to do quite well, um, but I can potentially secure top 22 for a day two invite, which would be awesome for me. Um, so that's something that I'm going to be looking to do. Unfortunately, I'm in a pretty bad spot in terms of um, trying to get that top 22. I'm really banking on doing well at the Intercontinental because um, it's going to be hard because I'm missing Milan, which is a special going on next weekend, which I'll talk about more in a second. And also I'm commentating Birmingham. Uh, I'd never give up the chance to commentate. It's always my favourite thing to do. Um, but those are tournaments with points on the line and other people will be overtaking me or getting further beyond me for the top 22 contention, which is a bit frustrating and annoying, but hey, uh, I still feel I've done pretty well with my season so far, trying to juggle commentary and still secure the invite at this point in the season is still quite good, I feel, even though I did kind of get helped out by the changes, to be honest, but yeah. Um, so that's uh, where you can find me. Uh, I'll be at Birmingham, of course, I'll be around, so you can still say hey to me. Jack will be playing, hoping to make his invite, and... Um, yeah, the commentary will be great. I'll put a link to um, the Twitch channel for the Pokemon, the official Pokemon live stream, so you can stay tuned for that. So yeah, um, that's basically how the rest of my season will be panning out. I just thought I'd throw this in here because a few people have been asking. So the Grand Open Milan Special is something that I want to discuss. It's going on next weekend, and it's the first tournament that... Um, Guardians Rising will be legal, so it's going to be a great indicator for Birmingham. So it's going to be something that's definitely going to be worth watching if you can't attend. Um, there's still places open, I believe. Uh, I think they've got a cap of like 400 players. Uh, special events are really good. Um, they go alongside your regionals cutoff, and it's eight. So like you never really fill up those spots. So specials really are good for gathering some points. Last weekend I was in Treviso and managed to get a top eight. Um, and get a bunch of points even though it was only like 60 people in attendance so um, they really can be good Milan will be similar I feel um, its attendance may be a little bit higher and there'll be quite a few top caliber players but um, I think it's definitely a tournament to attend and keep an eye out for if you are in Europe you can see I've just put the prize pool up there I literally took it just from the complexity uh, card gaming Facebook page which I will also be linking where you can get all the information of the event and how to register and everything else it will be standard it's going to be guardians rising legal for the first time so there'll be a lot of stuff in the air and hopefully it'll be a good indicator for some of these future tournaments there's going to be a live stream and it's going to be commentated by the mighty maze brennan kmeyer and um yeah that'll be very entertaining so keep an eye out for that i'll again put links to everything i talk about in this video down below so if you've if anything's caught your eye um just check down there and see what's going on. So yeah, I thought I'd mention Milan. I'm really upset that I can't make it, but it's just something that I just can't give up doing. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll be great, and uh, there'll be a few of the complexity card gaming guys trying to play there. I believe Benji's going. I think um, Mark maybe as well. So there's a handful of um, the complexity team around. It's a complexity card gaming run event, so it's quite a cool thing. And yeah, you can see good prize pools and everything else. So. It's definitely one to check out if you haven't thought about it already. And just a quick point on streaming as well. For those of you who are watching the channel, welcome to all of you. Um, you may not know that we also do Twitch streaming. I've actually recently picked up doing a Monday night stream from 9pm till 12 o'clock midnight um, on the Complexity Card Gaming uh, Twitch channel. You can see I've put it there. I'll again link it down below. Um, it'll, it'll mainly just be me on the camera. Uh, showing my side of battles, but also there will be people in the Skype chat to keep me company and also battle against as well as taking streamer uh, Requests and stuff like that. So 
um, check out on Mondays and also Wednesdays the main Omnipoke live stream that you will sometimes see we will um, upload onto the YouTube as well so you can watch back if you missed any of it. Um, just thought it's good to put out here so you know that it is a frequent thing every Wednesday. Me and Jack have been doing this for 30 weeks now and um, it's been going strong and we get a good base of people and it's a really good crowd I think in the stream. It's good atmosphere a lot of the time. Um, so that's definitely something you can tune into Wednesdays again, 8.15 p.m. till 12. It normally goes beyond 12 to be honest just because we're having fun or games are going long or whatever it is. If we're into a discussion, these things happen but that's just um, what you can assume. It'll be at least 12 o'clock finish. So if you can only pop in for a little while and just say hi, I still feel like, still feel like it's pretty worth it. And again, you can see the Twitch channel there. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for uh, watching this little video. Just a few key updates from me. We're almost at 6,000 subs, which is awesome. Um, we always seem to get a little burst of hype uh, whenever the new sets come out. People are always actively looking for lists, so they randomly stumble on the channel. And hopefully, um, those of you who have been following for a while, and those of you newcomers find this video okay to watch. I've tried to be as quick as possible, really, uh, just to get through it all. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, we also do have a Facebook page. We screenshot deck lists that we have profiled on the channel and also deck lists that we've done on the stream. So it's a really good thing to like the page. We also give us give out tournament progress whenever we are um, in them and such. So that's something we're going to try and be more and more active on. So definitely um, like that. It's just an extra way, an extra platform for you to see our content. And similarly, the Complexity Card Gaming Facebook page is something I, even before I was part of the team, um, it was a great resource for me because they always do metagame graphs of top tournaments, like regional and above level tournaments. They do metagame um, analyses and uh, graphics. And because there are some high caliber players, there's oftentimes some of our own deck lists are the winning ones or ones that are placed highly. So you can get some good um, content there as well. So there's plenty of things to see on the Complexity Card Gaming Facebook page. So I implore you to like that as well. Um, not least if you're thinking about Milan, that's where you can find the info as well. Overall, just want to say a huge thanks for the support. Jack will, of course, echo this. Um, but I just wanted to bash this video out quickly, to be honest. Almost at 6,000. That's pretty crazy. We've been going for uh, like over two years now, but it's been a slow process. But I really do like targeting the competitive side of the game hopefully we're entertaining enough to um entice a wide range of players and we are slowly growing um but i do like where we are with the channel right now and i think it's in a good place the streams are definitely a lot of fun and we're going to continue with this same formula for now in the next coming weeks we've got um lots of deck analyses of the new lists as well as updating old lists with the guardians rising stuff we're also going to be doing a big sort of metagame think tank discussion video, which I've not quite figured out how I want to do, but I have pages and pages of text that I want to somehow figure out and present in a nice clean way where um, I stop looking like a madman <laughs> and uh, we can actually present some of these ideas and figure out what's actually good in this format because all I can see on the ladder is like 20 different decks being played and everyone's trying to figure out what beats what. It's pretty matchup based still. People are still trying to figure out if Decidueye is still playable, is Volk still playable, all these things. How do these adapt to the new decks and stuff like that? So um, now that I have more time to test, I'm thinking now that I have more clarity and better scope on what is actually good in this format. So hopefully we'll be coming out a video with that. Uh, it might be before Milan, but it might also be after Milan where we see some results to go off of. Um, that could also be a good indicator. Nevertheless, it would definitely be before Birmingham because um, I feel like it's an important video that a lot of people will take into account. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for the support. Uh, if you did follow this, um, cheers. And like I said, links to everything in the description below if anything caught your eye. Um, I implore you to check out some of these things and stop by to the stream if you haven't already. Um, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Sorry if I bored you. Uh, just a big rambly chat. That's pretty much how it always is at Omnipoke, but there we go. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a more entertaining video soon. Cheers.